Good morning, grade 6. How are you, my dear students? Today, inshallah, we will continue on unit 16, probability. Lesson 16.2, equally likely outcomes. You can follow this in your course book, page 154 and 155. Our objectives today is find probabilities based on equally likely outcomes in simple contexts. Now, let's revise what's probability. Probability is the study of how likely something is to happen. It's measured on a probability scale that ranges from impossible to certain. Impossible, since something that has no chance of happening is impossible. It's said to have a 0% chance of happening. Certain. Since something that is definitely going to happen is said to be certain, it is said to have 100% chance of happening. Even chance. If something have, has the same chance of happening as it, is, as it has of not happening, it's, it's said to be an even chance 50%, right? not very likely or we said something that's unlikely to happen would be shown somewhere along here very likely something that is likely to happen would be shown somewhere along here for examples let's see these examples sometimes tomorrow you will watch tv what do you think impossible not very likely, even chance, very likely, certain. Excellent. It's very likely that sometimes tomorrow you will watch television. School holidays, what do you think? Yes, it's certain that there is a school holidays. You will still be alive when you are 110 years old. What do you think? Yes, not very likely. Baby born a boy. Excellent. It's even chance because we only we have two choices, boy or a girl. So a baby born a boy, it's even chance. Go back in time. It's what? It's impossible. Excellent. Now let's see if you can solve this question. Click the statement which is impossible. What do you think? Which statement is, is it's impossible? It will snow in winter. The answer to 2 plus 7 equals 9. A year when it does not rain. Toss a coin that is land hits. Going without food and drink for a year. What do you think? Which one is impossible? Which one has the chance of impossible? excellent going without food and drink for a year as we say probability can be thought of as a simple fraction or decimals it always lies between zero and one zero meaning impossible could not happen and one meaning certain will definitely happen our lesson today is equally likely outcomes for some simple activities or events, such as spinning a coin, throwing a dice, or picking a card from a bag, there are various results or outcomes that are all equally likely. What's the meaning of equally likely? Equally likely means if all of them have the same chance of occurrence. For example, with a coin, the two outcomes are head and tail. With a dice, the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 are all equally likely outcomes. That means all of them have the same chance of occurrence. But how can you assign a probability to a particular 
outcome. To find the probability of an event happening, we will use this law or this formula. Probability of an event happening equals number of favorable outcomes to the number of possible outcomes. Here, when you roll a dice, you could get 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or 1, right? All of the numbers have the same chance of occurrence. That means there are 6 numbers, so there are 6 equally likely outcomes, right? We have this example. To win a game, you need a 6. How likely is this? To win, I need number 6, right? But I can get 5, 6, 1, 2, 4, or 3. So to win, this is my favorable. But it's could it could be poss possible to get 5, 6, or 1, or 2, or 4, or 3. So, how to find this? Here we have how to calculate the probability of heads. Probability is a math term which allows you to predict how likely an event is to happen. Here we have head on a coin. So, we know that probability is favorable outcomes. Favorable, that means what you want. What I want here, head. To the possible outcomes, what could happen? What could happen here? I can get head or tails. So, the probability of head, it's one, two, possible outcomes, two. Probability expressed as a fraction. Why? Because fractions go from zero, unlikely to happen, to one, must happen. So, will not happen is zero, to one will happen. What, half, where is half of the probability scale? It's here, right? So, the line shows that there is an even chance of getting a head. Another example, probability of 6. We, as we say, probability is a math term which allows you to predict how likely an event is to happen. Now, I want to find probability of a number 6, right? So, probability equals favorable outcomes, which is number 6, to the possible outcomes. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 equals 1 out of 6. As we say, probability can express as a fraction because fractions goes from 0 to 1. So, 1 out of 6 on probability scale, it's here. This is 1 out of 6. So, the line shows that getting a 6 immediately is unlikely but possible. Getting an even number on a dice. Probability equals possible outcomes. How many possible outcomes we have? Yes, we have six possible outcomes because it's equally likely outcomes. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And getting an even numbers on a dice. How many even numbers we have on a dice? Tell me. Yes, we have two, four, six. So my favorable outcomes, two, four, six. It's 3. So the probability of getting an even number on a dice is 3 out of 6. After I simplify it, I get half. On a number on probability scale, half is here. So it's even chance. Another example. He wants to find the probability of blue beads. My favorable is blue. Possible, I can get blue, yellow, orange, or red, right? How many blue I have? I have four. Possible, I have four blue, four yellow, one orange, and three red. 
total number of them is 12. So the probability of a blue is 4 out of 12. After I simplify it equals 1 third. So probability of a blue equals 1 third. Another example. Spinner has these numbers from 1 to 16. I want to find the probability of odd numbers. First, how many odd numbers we have or what is my favorable? I have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. So total number of odd numbers here is 8. This is my favorable. And how many possible numbers? How many numbers we have on this spinner? We have 16. So possible numbers is 16. So the probability of odd numbers is 8 out of 16. After we simplify it, we get half. Here we have another example. We will solve it together. There are three red and four green balls in a bag. What is the probability a green ball is picked? We have possible how many? Three red and four green. My favorable is four green. So the probability of a green is four over 3 plus 4, which is equal 7. So the probability of the green is 4 out of 7. Now we have this example from your course book. Here are 8 number cards. 2, 5, 5, 8, 10, 10, 10, 13. The cards are placed face down on a table. One card is chosen at random. What is the probability that the number chosen is A, 5, B, greater than 9, C, an even number? I will solve first A. There are 8 cards, so there are 8 equally likely outcomes, 8 possible outcomes, right? Two of the cards are 5, right? So there are 2 chances out of 8 of choosing a 5. So the probability of 5 is 2 out of 8. After I simplify it equals quarter. B. Greater than 9. How many numbers we have here on these cards greater than 9? We have 10 and 13. But 10 we have 3 cards. So 3 cards of 10 plus 1 card of 13, that means 4 cards. 4 out of 8. 4 out of 8, after we simplify it, we get half. So, there are 4 cards with the numbers greater than 9. So, the probability of the cards that are greater than 9 equals to half. Now, an even number. Can you tell me how many even numbers we have in these cards? Yes. 2, 8, 10, but 10, 3 times, remember. So, total numbers of even numbers here, it's 5. So, the even numbers are 2, 8, and 10. 5 cards have even numbers, so the probability is 5 over 8. Now, it's your turn. What is the probability of choosing a rate counter from this bag? Look at the rate counters. This is my favorable. And how many possible we have? Can anyone tell me? Yes, excellent. We have seven rate counters and the total number of counters we have 12. So the answer, the probability, sorry, of the red is 7 over 12. Who wants to answer this question? What is the probability of choosing a yellow counter from this bag? How many yellow counters we have? Yes, we have four. And total counters, how much? Yes. Can anyone tell me how much? Yes, it's a 12. So four out of 12. Excellent. Another one who wants to answer this? What is the probability of choosing a green counter from this bag? 
What is my favorable? Yes, one green. And what is the total? 12. So what is the answer? Yes, it's D, one out of 12. And another example, what is the probability of choosing the letter A at random from the word mathematics? Look at the word mathematics. We have two A's in mathematics, right? Two out of how much? Yes, two out of 11. So the probability of the letter A is 2 over 11. Here another example, what is the probability of choosing a vowel at random from the word mathematics? Tell me, how many vowels we have in mathematics? A, E, A, I. That means four vowels we have in mathematics, right? Four out of 11. So what is the answer? Yes, four out of 11 is the probability of vowel. Last example, what is the probability of choosing a constant at a random from the word mathematics? Tell me, how many constants we have? M, T, H, M, T, C, S. That means 7. So my favorable is 7. Out of possible how many? Yes, 11. So the answer is B, 7 over 11. 11. This is the answer key for your course book, page 154 and 155.